Hello again YouTube, welcome back to the story. I see you have not taken my warning. This was guaranteed to be weird and to mess with your brain. Because you can't possibly understand this was 100% of your brain, but yet here you are trying to. I hope you brought your cereal. When we last left off, the giant red ape known as Santa of Claus had created a slave from the remaining parts of the Crispix which he stole the power from and used it to make railings for said sleigh so that he could parade around in the sky and hurl insults and make n weird noises and throw things at the children apes. The children and apes were not very happy, so they called up their friend, a giant snowman, which was not named Frosty, it was some other cool name like Mr. Icy. Mr. Icy confronted this Santa of Claus, and in the ensuing battle they destroyed Santa's sleigh and broke it into many pieces. While the two were fighting and not looking behind their back, a girl with blonde hair came along and picked up one of the railings which looked like a candy cane but totally wasn't a candy cane, it was something much cooler than that. It was cold outside so the child girl with the blonde hair and the pilfered candy cane which was not a candy cane I must assure you and double down on that that it was absolutely not a candy cane. She took her goods into the forest and was lost. She became cold and hungry and was looking for some shelter and some food. She came upon a tree house which she had not seen before ever in her entire life and knocked on the door, but nobody answered. The little blonde girl was very desperate, and the door was open, so she let herself into this house. Inside of the house sat three chairs around a table. The first chair was very large, the second chair was still pretty big, but the third chair looked just about right. But because this blonde child was so stupid, she had to try to sit in all of them. So the first chair, of course, was too hard for the spoiled princess. Then she sat in the other chair, and it was too soft because she is a picky brat. Then she sat in a third chair and it was perfectly fine for her, but in the process, she completely obliterated it into a billion pieces that scattered around into the another dimension where the pudding lives. After having done this, having nothing to sit on, she decided that she was hungry. Upon the table sat three bowls containing a, the most horrific sight anyone could ever see. Wet, soggy cereal. But it was at least warm. The first bowl was gigantic and she stuck her finger in it and tasted it and said, Ew, this, this is too hot. Picky, picky girl. The second bowl was still too large, and she stuck her finger in anyway and took a taste of that and said, mm, this is too cold because she's an annoying pain in the butt. But the final bowl, of course, was perfect for whatever reason, and she stuck her finger in that and decided it tasted perfectly fine and decided to suck the whole bowl down her nasty throat. She was greedy. She followed the whole thing. All of it left nothing. What was... Who did that belong to? It wasn't hers. She didn't care, because she was selfish. 
After consuming the liquid, slimy, cold, wet cereal, she decided she was tired, so she went upstairs in this house that she completely didn't own, by the way, and decided to help herself into the bedrooms of these three people she did not know. The first bed was of course too large and too hard. The second bed was still too big and too soft. But the third bed, of course, for some ridiculous purpose, was perfect for her, so she decided to just help herself to it and go to sleep in that bed. During her slumber, the rightful owners of the house came back and were horrified to discover that their door had been torn asunder by some malevolent being. Because they were all so stupid, they decided to go into their house, even though the first rule is if you come to your house and the door is open, don't go in it. When they went in, they discovered that someone had been sitting in their chairs. The large stupid bear said that someone had been sitting in his chair. The not-so-big other bear said the same thing, someone has been sitting in my chair. And then the tiniest bear said, where the heck is my chair? It isn't even here anymore. Did you not notice this? What am I supposed to sit in now? Completely oblivious to the little bear's plot, the other two bears immediately turned their attention to the table where their bulls sat. The big dumb bear said, look, someone been eating my horrible wet cereal. The other not quite as big bear looked at her bowl and said, boy, somebody's been eating my cold wet horrible cereal too, that is of course soggy by now. The little bear looked at his bowl and said, hey, there isn't anything left of mine, it's completely empty, or did you not realize this? What the heck am I supposed to eat? My own foot. The two other larger bears looked at each other and then back at the child and told him yes. The child thought better of this, thinking that the foot might be important for later. Bored of this predicament, they decided it was time to go to bed, so they went up to their bedrooms. Shocked and horrified to discover that their sanctums had been violated. Where or oh, where could they find sanctuary now? Foreshadowing. The big stupid bear said someone had been sleeping in his bed. The other bear, who was big but not quite as big as the other bear, said that someone had been sleeping in her bed. The little bear went into his room and said, Hey, somebody's been sleeping in my bed too. And there she is. The little girl woke up from the commotion. The bears all confronted her, and she said, Oops, my bad. Hey, I got this place at the edge of town called Sanctuary, and well, it's for sale. Foreshadowing. And this is where this part of the story ends. We will pick it up next time, but for now I must sing. Hey Johnny, hit the music. Yeah. 
And there you have it. She sells sanctuary by the seashore. Or something. Anyway, a word from somebody else that I do not know completely. That's right, I'm back to remind you all that if you like this crazy stuff right here, that's right, you can like, subscribe, and comment. And if you don't, you know what's waiting for you? I am coming for you with my gigantic bowl of cereal. You are not ready. <laughs>